up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here in New Mexico for a very special national media event about one vehicle and one vehicle in particular that's totally redesigned. It's this vehicle right here, the 2022 Lexus LX600. Our white beauty is the F-Sport trim. But before we get into this large and in-charge SUV from Lexus, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, they built a name for themselves all about reliability, dependability, and now with this new LX600, bringing that luxury, sport, and that versatility to the scene unlike ever before. Now, the LX, it's been a while. It's been a minute, as many people would say today, where changes haven't come that much for the LX. And a lot of diehard Lexus fans and even people that want to come over to the brand really wanted to see some fresh style, definitely some more technology, and also, of course, how it performs. Now, in this full-size luxury SUV segment, there are a ton of competitors. Of course, you have the big names from the American brands, the Escalade, the Navigator, the new Grand Wagoneer, the return of that nameplate. Plus, of course, we have the German Euros, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW bringing it into this segment. But what I want to find out is I want to compare it to two in particular, the Cadillac Escalade and the BMW X7. How does this F-Sport stack up against those two SUVs? Because both of them have a sport trim and both of them are full-size luxury SUVs. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's dive into our pure white Lexus LX600 F-Sport and find out, is this the better SUV to buy? Right off the bat, the design. They really have kept the connection to the LXs of the past, but you could tell that this is something new, something fresh. You'll notice how they did the headlight design. You're gonna automatically get those triple LED beam headlights with your daytime running lamp and turn signals all integrated, super clean. You'll notice on the F-Sport, there's some black trim. And it's great because some of the trim that is normally black on all the LX600s, whether you go ultra luxury, luxury, or even the base, even blends more into the sporty look. For example, this gloss black section here, this is actually black on all the trims, but when you go F-Sport, it actually blends in even more because you're getting this unique front fascia just for the F-Sport trim, and it all starts, starts in these corner vents, functional corner vents to help flow gobs and gobs and gobs of air to those heat exchangers that are hiding behind it. You'll notice you're still gonna get the LED fog lamps located nice down and low. It's gonna illuminate the ground in front of you at night with a really crisp, clear light. And then another nice finish is this aluminum style trim. Really pops nicely with the rest of the black. And like I was saying, this section here, this is standard LX. This is F Sport specific. You have that extra uh, venting that's all functional. And then as we slide to the center, it's that waterfall spindle design. And what I love about the LX trim is that when you go, say, with the ultra luxury, and if you haven't seen that review of ours, I'm gonna leave that at the end of this one. We did an amazing walk around review to show what that top trim brings. But you'll notice on the Ultra Lux and some of the other trims, how the grill is just horizontal slots. This has that classic Lexus spindle grill design, all blacked out, fully functional, forward facing camera. I love the dark chrome trim around the perimeter. Very, very classy, but also sporty at the same time. And even the way that they lowered down this air dam in the, in the center to try to get that air to circulate around this massive front end of a vehicle. Now we do have the suspension where you could raise and lower this F-Sport. That means that in the highest setting, 8.7 inches of ground clearance plus some, plus because we have the F-Sport trim, we have the torsion limited slip diff. Comparing this to the Cadillac, you're gonna see that same kind of big, bold design, but people that have been lurking for the Lexus of their dreams, 
this one brings a lot to the table. Now, when we get, hop up onto the hood, instead of a bulge, you're actually getting the Grand Canyon. Love the way they put this big dip in the center, and then the other halves kind of just rise up, and that gives you the perfect visual, especially when you're driving a large SUV. You know, driving an Escalade, if you haven't driven one, they're not the easiest to navigate down the road, but the way that they designed the hood, especially look at that sparkling pearlescent white in the paint on our particular one, it's gonna make it a breeze, plus it's great to look at. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. What's great is, is that you're gonna have five different choices of LXs to choose from when it comes to trims. You go F-Sport, you're getting these gorgeous gunmetal metallic gray multi-spoke wheels. Love the style, love the design. 22 inch wheel. First time on the LX having a 22 inch wheel. Look at the calipers, painted black with the Lexus name there. Adds to that sporty overall style. When you look at the tires, you're looking at 265 on the width, meaty 50 series sidewall, fully ventilated rotors. You got that suspension that raises and lowers and it's adaptive dampers, all four corners, depending on the modes. Remember you got your different modes, normal, sport, sport plus, all happens with this F Sport LX600. Painted all the way around the fender flare. It sparkles like a freaking bass fishing boat. There's so much metallic in that paint job. Of course, we got to have the F Sport badge. This is not a true F performance vehicle, but obviously we are getting some extra handling goodies. We're on the new global architecture. And remember, when you go F Sport, the suspension has been tuned specifically for this particular vehicle to handle a little bit better than your standard LX600. Color matched on the mirror caps. Now one zonk I'm gonna have to point out is the chrome on the side mirrors. They should have went dark chrome, just like they did on the grill because we have the F Sport trim. It would have been nice to have that, but you got your small, slim and trim turn singles. We got 360 degree cam. I like the stationary running boards. Let me know what you think about that. Escalade, remember they have those electric ones that drop down. These are stationary, not too big. A Little bit of shiny chrome on the door handles. That would have been nice to be dark chrome, but I love the hard body line. You know, if you're looking for that classic body on frame SUV that just looks bold and daring, this really hits the nail right on the head compared to the Escalade. Escalade looks a little bit transformer-ish than this particular LX. Now up top, you're gonna get that satin aluminum finish on the roof rails. You're gonna get the shiny chrome metal work all the way around, the window treatment, nice size on the quarter window. I love the way they flared out that rear trim. And as we flared around the rear, look at our new taillights on the LX. That L shape, L means love, but L also means Lexus with the LED taillights, turn singles, LX600 badging, our new updated Lexus badge. Let me know what you think about it. Would you rather have the Lexus emblem there like you would with Cadillac? They put the Cadillac emblem or are you digging the Lexus badge? All LED. I wish they would have went a little bit different on the roof spoiler because this is an F Sport and obviously this guy needs to go. We need to put this somewhere else. But the great news is as you drop it like it's hot, you get a totally unique rear bumper to the F Sport. Now there is some fake vent but it does match the vent up front, those corner vents. I'm really loving this simulated rear diffuser area. You take the cover off, full tow capability. And remember, when it comes to towing, it's actually bolted and welded to the frame, not bolted to the frame like it used to be. It's actually welded to the frame. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our LX600. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Have hydraulic hood struts just like on the Escalade. Now the Escalade, you get VA power. Things are different this time around on the LX600. Let me know what you think about it in that comment section. If you look, you're gonna get a tasteful engine cover. It's got that wording there, twin turbo. So what do we have? We have a twin turbo V6 engine, all new for 2022. So you're looking at 409 horsepower from the 3.5 liter V6, 479 pound-feet of torque, it's mated to an all new 10 speed automatic transmission. So if you're comparing that to the Escalade, the Escalade has a 10 speed automatic as well. We got that torsion limited slip diff. 
zero to 60 in 6.9 seconds, top speed around 130 miles an hour. The weight of this vehicle is around 5,665 pounds. And the big news is you get to tow more, tow up to 8,000 pounds because of the new chassis, because of how they welded the towing hookup to the frame. It's stronger. MPGs, you're also gonna be a winner. Not like the old LX from the previous generation where it's 13 in the city. You're now gonna get 17 in the city, 22 on the highway, and 19 combined. Of course, let me know how you feel about it not having a V8 engine. You can go, obviously, with the Escalade to get that naturally aspirated V8 power. The X7 has a twin turbo V8 if you go M50i. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this V6 twin turbo and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Lexus LX600 F Sport. I know you are dying to find out, well, how much is the pricing on this F Sport trim LX600? I'm liking the looks. I'm looking at the competition, especially the Infiniti QX80 and the Escalade. How much is this, Joe? Tell me now. I can't wait any longer. Well, since you waited patiently, and I'm hoping that you said please, here is the price. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right around $101,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, when you go F Sport, you're getting that specific aluminum trim at the top portion there. Very classy, very contemporary. And then you're also getting, we have the optional Mark Levinson sound system. That's 25 speakers of pure sound ecstasy. There is a bit of gloss black, and I feel like that gloss black area around the switch gear for the windows and the door locks, that should have been aluminum. So that is a Zonk. Door pocket on the tight side. Maybe two New Mexico shrimp tacos and a bottle of iced tea to wash it down, and that's about it. Going from the door panel to the dash, of course you're getting soft touch material. A car, of course, all the finishes are excellent. This is a Lexus. This is what they're known for. But this is something that now it's time to learn about Lexus. Starting with the smaller NX, we have the new infotainment setup, 12.3 inches. It's a floating iPad style, but it's nice and wide and it does not impede your vision. You have your uh, controls that are all through the touchscreen. Very easy to do. And if you need to see any of this in particular, we've done it on the NX reviews, especially when you look at setting up driver profiles, making all your adjustments, very easy to do. So I, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it right now, but definitely check out my other reviews. Backup camera, super clear, nice resolution. You got your 360, plus what I love about this Lexus is you hit the camera button and that's gonna give us that 360 exterior spin around and it's see-through. You can actually see snow. That's not marshmallow. State Park Marshmallow Man did not die out here. That's actually snow, and you're able to see very clearly. And then there we are, and it's a nice white Lexus, like a marshmallow, looking good. Get out of that that way, very easy peasy. You're gonna have that second screen, seven inch display. This is done for a couple reasons. First of all, other countries are getting the LX600, and that's what they uh, you know, need to have for their markets. But it also allows you to have full cameras and still get into all these different settings. So you could get into your dual climate control, real easy to adjust the uh, blower fan speed. You could go into your different settings. It's got all the different readouts that you could ever want. Dropping down, we have physical buttons. So it's not just about the screens, it's also about physical buttons. You have your crawl control, you got your uh, hill descent control, the different drive modes, very easy to do, very easy to work through, and then check it out. Heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt. This is gonna control the 10-speed automatic, 
more of that silver trim, you can lock the center diff and you can raise and lower your LX600 wireless charging. Standard Lexus key fob, but you know what? It looks good and you could do everything digitally through your phone, so not a problem. Nice stitching, love the great materials. You could open up this way, you could open up my way. Open up this way, what do we got? We have our radio, because we're gonna be contacting Area 51. We're going to Area 51 in our LX, and we gotta have a couple bottles of water. The great news is, I wish you could feel this right now. It's cold because we have a cooler in here. You got the cool box. I shut it off, turn it on, put everything back. Seats, F Sport in the headrest, nice perforated, nice stitch work, full electric assist for the passenger and for the driver. And then on this F Sport trim, you're getting the microfiber suede material. The bummer is standard sunroof. Standard sunroof in the F Sport. But why don't you get your butt over here? I want to show you behind this leather wrap steering wheel in our new LX600. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this F Sport LX600. You have Three memory seat settings. I love the specific F Sport aluminum trim on the sill. This lights up nice white LED light at night. And then a foot box meant for a race car, but we have it in the LX. Nice large dead pedal, aluminum brake pedal, and throttle. Easy to get to, lots of room, even for somebody with bigger feet like myself. You do have your seat controls with a nice finish, that lower lumbar. I'm six feet tall. I feel cool as a cucumber in here. Speaking of cool, this is a cool steering wheel. Nice Lexus logo, some of that dark silver trim with the F Sport badge, white contrast stitching all the way around, flat black on the buttons, and then you have the paddles to go up and down that 10 speed automatic, electric tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're gonna get that nice eight inch clear display. You go through your different modes, there's your, all your different modes there. And what's wonderful is watch, when you stop like on Sport Plus, my favorite mode, the tack changes, all that good readout and information is very easy to figure out. And that's what I like about this. It's very intuitive. And you got some analog gauges there, which really makes life very easy to figure out what your fuel is, what's the temp, even the, your voltmeter. Do you know how many cars don't have a voltmeter anymore? And you got a head-up display. So lots of information you're gonna be able to gather very easily. Let's go ahead though, let's get into that mid row and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this new LX600. All right guys, back seat time. And this is where you see the changes with the new chassis, allows a lot more room in the back seat. Speaking of the backs of the seats, I love the soft material. You have large pockets, so you could get some of those great iguana pancakes from New Mexico. I know aliens love iguana uh, pancakes and if you're going over to area 51 like we are you're going to want to get some extra stacks for our friendly uh aliens from other planets speaking of friendly this is so simplified first of all you hit this button opens up you can get the nice cool drink close it up we got our rear ac but this is just half of it there's two here there's some more ventilated seats and heated seats thank you lexus and your dual climate control Plenty of room over here. You got your manual. I wish these were electric, but manual sunshades. We have another set of AC vents up high in that nice microfiber headliner. It's really soft. Plus you got the 25 speakers. It's gonna blow your mind. And then pull that down, nice and soft. Two cup holders, close it up. And then you're getting the great material, but let's go ahead, let's do the deed. Let's try to get into the back seat, the third row in the new LX600. All right, guys, back seat time in this LX600. Obviously, this is where the row gets a little bumpy. Being six feet tall, the third row is not really meant for a grown adult. And you're probably saying, well, Joe, we can't even really see you. Well, let me go ahead. You can actually put down that middle seat. You can see where my knees are. This is what I'm having for dinner. My knees are in my mouth. I'm going to be chewing on those for the rest of the ride. So my idea, my thing that I think you should do, my suggestion is that whatever person, whether it's one of your own children, one of your friends, one of your kids' friends, or whatever, friend's kid, whatever you want to look at it, put the one that you like the least in the back or the smallest, whatever way you want to work it. But the great news is you do have rear AC vents. And then on each side, we do have USBs, which you're just going to open up. It's a USB-C. We could actually tilt the seat a little bit, but it's actually already in the 
for this back setting. And then these buttons down here are to actually lift and raise the rear third row from the passenger seat. So you don't have to do it just from the cargo area. You could do it right there. But let me show you. I'm going to move the seat up a little bit. You could see how, yeah, that, that doesn't make it any better. I actually enjoyed it just a, a little bit more, not much, but this is it. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area because I'm ready to go driving on throttle in this LX600. All right, guys, time to get into that rear hatch area, opening up that cargo tailgate. Now, one thing to remember, if you have the key fobs on you, you do have that foot action, hands-free availability to open up the rear tailgate area. But what you're gonna do is X marks the spot, hit the button, electric assist rises up. Now, what I did was, and I did this on purpose, this is our review with the third row. I have the third row fully engaged. So what that means is you're only gonna have about 11 cubic feet of space. Not a lot of room. If you're a mom and you got a stroller, you maybe could fit the stroller here. That's about it. On the driver's side, you do have a home power source, which is wonderful, especially when you take the kiddos to the beach and you gotta blow up some inflatable rafts for them or little water wings or something like that. LED lighting, and then you have the buttons that you're gonna press. You gotta hold on to them and fold the seats down. I wish that they were one button operation, but they're not. But the good news is they actually go down pretty quickly. Once they are down, it is fully flat. And Lori will be able to show off the rear seating area, especially the armrest, because guess what? You have USBs and you have cup holders and places to put the Skittles. Gotta have those Skittle holders. Now you're looking at 46 cubic feet of space, but guess what? We could fold down the mid row and that's gonna give us even more flexibility. And to do that, I'm actually gonna have to go over to the passenger side and make that happen. But one, two, three, Alec exam. That makes the seat go up and out of the way. That folds it down. I'm gonna have to run over to the passenger side. A Little bit of a, of a hassle to have to go this route, but once you get it down, that's the flip up. Push it back down. That's what you're looking at with both rows down, not totally flat, but the good news is they got rid of the jump seats. So if you remember on the previous generation, they had those jump seats that would, would electrically drop down this way and that just took up a lot of room. Now you have more width. Is it as much as an Escalade? No, but it's definitely gonna be comparable to an X7 or like an Infiniti QX80. So definitely let me know how you feel about the seating arrangement, but guess what? It's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go on throttle on the asphalt and also take this F-Sport off-road. So let's go ahead, let's get We to are it. now starting our drive in the 2022 Lexus LX600 F-Sport on throttle. 10 speed drops down and we are off and running. Nice, fast, crisp shifts from the 10 speed. You'll notice by the dash, we are in sport plus mode. That is going to be the sportiest setting, how it adjusts everything, all four corners, the steering, the throttle, and of course we have that limited slip differential. Getting on the brakes, brakes feel good. Wonderful visibility and getting to everything is so well laid out. Let me go ahead and go on throttle, little kind of around the corner. On throttle, here we go, from a dead stop. Nice. I'm actually not upset about the sound from the twin turbo V6. It's to be expected with that type of power plant. And yeah, I do miss the rumble of the V8, but what you're not gonna miss is the quicker acceleration and of course, less stops at the fuel station. Now, driving down the road, the suspension is soaking everything up, even with the sportier derived chassis settings that they do for the F-Sport, but definitely the sound deadening, all of the uh, 
the work that they did into the new global architecture that this LX600 is sitting on really allows you to have a quiet experience. And the ride is smooth even with the 22 inch wheels. Looking out the rear view mirror, clear visibility, nice size uh, side mirrors. And then of course, we have that updated, upgraded 2.5 plus plus on the Lexus safety system, blind spot monitoring, blame, uh, you know, uh, lane keep assist, lane trace, uh, everything that you could think of, on a, you know, emergency brake assist, all of those things that it's gonna make sure that your family is safe and that you arrive alive every single time. Let me go ahead and shift manually with the 10 speed. So you take the shifter, push it over to the driver's side, and now you use those paddles to go up and down the 10 speed. And we're gonna do another acceleration test. Nobody's behind us. You can see the camera view, especially with the see-through and the 360, really, really cool technology. On throttle, here we go. All the way out to red line. The paddles are a great size, brakes feel good, nice downshifts, gives you a little bit of a gear indicator on the bottom corner there, on the right hand side, let you know what gear you're in. And I'm telling you, the way that they did the work on the chassis, it's very confidence inspiring. And remember, this is just the beginning of our on throttle experience because also this being based off the Land Cruiser as well, sharing that same platform, this is fully off-road capable, even in the F-Sport trim. So get ready for some of that on throttle, which we'll be bringing to you in a few seconds in this review. You're getting two for one, on-road and off-road. Put it back into drive, push it over to the passenger side, the shifter, and now we're back in that automatic shifting mode. But seats are comfy, ventilated, heated, everything feels good. Looking at the gauges, nice instrumentation. We got the beautiful uh, scenery around here in New Mexico, the land of enchantment, which makes it extra special in this LX600. All right, guys, we are doing the off-roading in the LX600, showcasing what this full-size body on frame SUV is all about. And even though we're in the F-Sport trim, really awesome to go up this sharp, incline you got the great crawl control features hill descent control everything has been updated of course we got all the updated 2.5 safety technology from lexus really allowing us to take advantage of this situation but really really great on the cameras you you get a clear understanding of why they have the split screen set up. It really allows it you to be able to see everything. All right, guys, I moved the camera because I wanted to show you. So remember, the 12.3 inch screen up top has our forward facing camera, has side view cameras, and you could toggle through those camera angles very easily just by hitting the button. Really gives you such great versatility and then the second screen here is showing me my levels of crawl control the elevation of the ground throttle and brake and all those other goodies all wrapped up in one but here we go together you and i using i'm using the camera right now you can feel that turn assist it breaks that inside wheel to allow you to turn around and it's easy to shut off you just go ahead and you hit the button here and it shuts right off but nice and smooth. Right now I'm using hill descent control, which is great. Adjust the speed of it just by twisting the knob. Right now I'm on a level four, but quite mind blowing what they have been able to do with this full size body on frame construction SUV. And you can see how clear the graphics are, the camera quality, all of that is phenomenal with a capital PH. With the way things are ripped up, all the ruts, you're just gonna get right through it like a hot knife through butter. And then here we are going around this sharp turn and it really is allowing us to be able to steer 
easily and simply. Steering is nice and light as well. As you can see, that off-road action was a ton of fun, and this thing is quite capable, and with all the new technology upgrades, really allowed us to navigate not only through the trail road very, very well in that off-road section, but now we're back on road and you can see that even being a full size body on frame luxury suv it's so easy to hold a line even on this single direction road that we're on and that's what makes this a very uh good suv to live with because of how easy it is to drive but hopefully this has really wet your appetite and satisfied the need for more information on the lx 600 especially the F Sport trim. We will be getting our hands on other trims as the year progresses, but we're gonna get back to where this all started and wrap it up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day here in Santa Fe. You see what I did there? Santa Fe, New Mexico, one heck of a day. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, but before we even continue this discussion, I gotta thank everybody over at Lexus for allowing Rady's Ride to access to this media event and this special vehicle, the all new LX600 F Sport. Let me know what you think. I know they want to know exactly how you're feeling about this. Would you go with what they've done here with this new F Sport or are you gonna go with the Escalade or maybe the BMW X7? Put it in the comment section. They're ready to read and find out how you wanna spend your money. But until that day, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content, just like you're seeing right now from New Mexico, go ahead, click that link in the description right down there. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it to, up to the queen of the camera. She's working in the sun, the desert, the mountains, the valleys, and everything in between. Queen of the camera. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.